welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a very exciting video. This is my five nights of dinners, all from Trader Joe's, all from the freezer section, all WW friendly, and most importantly, all delicious. So every part of this meal came from the Trader Joe's frozen section. Now we will add condiments or spices that aren't from Trader Joe's, but the main components of our meals all came from their freezer section. So it gives you lots of great ideas, easy, quick meals. Nothing takes more than 15, 20 minutes to prepare and put on your table. So if you want to see my five nights of dinner straight out of the freezer section at Trader Joe's, then just stay tuned. So for tonight's Trader Joe's freezer section meal, we are going to be doing wontons and cauliflower rice stir fry. So from Trader Joe's, I picked up the riced cauliflower stir fry. This has green peas, red peppers, corn, tamari, spring onions, sesame oil, and ginger. It is very low points and it is very delicious. So we're going to have that. And then we're also going to have the Trader Joe's chicken cilantro mini wontons. And you can cook these in your air fryer, in your oven, on your stove top. I'm actually going to pop mine into the oven for those of you that don't have an air fryer. So we'll be having our Trader Joe's wontons. And then for sauces, I have both the Trader Joe's soyaki, which is amazing. And then a new one that I have yet to try, which is the Trader Joe's island soyaki so this is what we're going to be using to dip our wontons in you can even put it on your cauliflower stir fry although it comes with an amazing sauce so let's get started on tonight's trader joe's meal for our wontons i did go ahead and line a cookie sheet with some foil sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray and i put the entire package here of the wontons out on the cookie sheet i'm going to put this into the oven on 350 until they are nice and crispy and warmed through. I will end up flipping them about part way through. So then let's get started on our cauliflower stir fry. In my pan here, I've went ahead and sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. And to that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my riced cauliflower mixture. And we're gonna let this cook down until it is fully cooked through, nice and crispy. It already has all your veggies and your sauce, so it's a super easy dinner. It is gonna take seven to 10 minutes or so, so it's perfect while our wontons are cooking in the oven. Our fried rice is coming along nicely. It's looking really, really good. And in the oven are our wontons. So dinner is just about ready. I'll get it plated up give you the smart points. So here is our Trader Joe's freezer section dinner for tonight. So over here I have two servings of the cauliflower fried rice. It is one cup frozen per serving. So two cups frozen and it is a total of one smart point. You can have one entire cup or what two cups frozen of the cauliflower fried rice for one point. I also have 10 of the mini cilantro wontons for a total of three smart points and one tablespoon of the soyaki for two. So this entire dinner is only six smart points and all from Trader Joe's in the freezer section. For tonight's Trader Joe's meal, we are going to be doing spinach filled ravioli with tomato, meat sauce, and broccoli. So I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's ricotta and spinach filled ravioli. I am going to be adding just a little bit extra marinara. This is the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. It is zero points no matter how much you have. So I'm gonna add just that little bit extra marinara to the ravioli because I'm also going to be throwing in some 96.4 extra lean ground beef. This is one pound to make this a little more hearty with a meat sauce. And then we're gonna pair that with the Trader Joe's broccoli florette. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do for tonight's dinner is I'm gonna cook down my hamburger. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper and get this nice and browned. And then we'll move on to our ravioli and our vegetables. While our hamburger is over here cooking, we're gonna go ahead and just pop our um, ravioli into the microwave and then I can add it to the pan with the extra marinara sauce and then we'll warm up our broccoli. But what an easy dinner. I can't wait to have this. I've never had it. So we'll have to see what it looks like when it comes out of the microwave. Once your hamburger has cooked down, I went ahead and pulled my ravioli out of the microwave. It is not all the way cooked through because I do want to go ahead and add it here to my hamburger. 
It looks really, really good. Look at that, yum. And then I have just that little extra of my skinny-ish dish marinara, only to make it a little more saucy because we added the hamburger. So we'll get this stirred in, we'll let that ravioli cook through, and let's get our broccoli into the microwave. And here's our Trader Joe's broccoli in a bowl with a little bit of water. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for a few minutes and our ravioli is looking so good, you guys, so good. This is three servings worth of the ravioli. So as soon as this is done and our broccoli is warmed up, I will plate up my dinner and give you the smart points. So here's my Trader Joe's meal for tonight. So I have one serving of the ravioli with my meat sauce topped with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. One serving of the ravioli is six smart points and then an additional two points for the hamburger in the marinara. So that is eight smart points. Broccoli sprayed with some spray butter, salt and pepper is zero. This dinner is a total of eight smart points. Can't beat pasta for eight points. For tonight's Trader Joe's meal, we are going to be making mushroom fettuccine with chicken and green beans. So we're gonna be using the Trader Joe's fettuccine with mushrooms from the frozen area. I've never had this, it sounds amazing. Would be a great vegetarian dinner because it's literally just the sauce with the mushrooms and the fettuccine. But we are gonna add some of Trader Joe's just grilled chicken strips. These are already pre-cooked heat and eat chicken strips. So we'll be adding some of those to our fettuccine. And then for a side dish, we're gonna be doing Trader Joe's or organic green beans, all from the frozen section. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we need to do to get started is we're going to add two tablespoons of water to a pan. And then to that, we're gonna be adding in our fettuccine with mushrooms. And these are little nests of pasta, which makes it really easy. Super cute, so we went ahead and added all of that. We're gonna allow that water to come to a boil and cover it, and then we'll slowly, gently, after about two minutes, separate out the fettuccine noodle nests, and then we'll add in our chicken strips and allow it to cook another four to five minutes. While our pasta's cooking, I went ahead and put one half of the bag of the green beans into a bowl here with some water. I'm doing just enough for two people. So this bag of green beans would definitely feed a family of four. So just a little side note. So I'm just gonna put the rest back in my freezer for another meal. And then I'll pop this in the microwave about two or three minutes before our pasta is finished. Once your water comes to a boil, you're just gonna gently pull your little nests of pasta apart. So super easy, they just, come apart and it becomes your delicious mushroom fettuccine. And then to this, we are going to add some of our just grilled chicken. Again, this is already pre-cooked, so it looks like this just kind of comes in strips. So I'm just gonna pop about half of the bag or so into my fettuccine. It needs four or five minutes to cook down as well and get warm and heated through. So I added in the chicken. We still have quite a bit left over, so it's plenty for another meal, which is awesome because it was really inexpensive. So can't beat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir, throw my lid on my pan, and I'm gonna let it cook down for another five minutes or so just to make sure that everything is heated through, and especially the chicken. All right, my pasta is just about done. I added a little bit of salt and pepper. And as you can hear, we have green beans in the microwave. So dinner is just about done. Literally, you guys, 10 minutes. So this smells really good. I'm just gonna allow it to kind of simmer while our green beans cook another couple minutes and I'll plate it up and give you the smart points. So here is my Trader Joe's dinner for tonight. So I have a little bit of my green beans with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. And then one serving of the mushroom fettuccine, which is one cup frozen or two thirds cup cooked is five smart points. The chicken is zero. So this entire dinner is only five smart points. For tonight's Trader Joe's dinner, we're going to be doing barbecue chicken teriyaki over rice with green beans everything from the freezer section at Trader Joe's. So first we are starting with this barbecue chicken teriyaki, heat and serve. So essentially this is the chicken with the teriyaki sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up this whole bag. There's three and a half servings. It is one cup frozen for a serving, which ends up being about two thirds of a cup 
prepared. And then we're gonna have that with the Trader Joe's organic brown rice. This brown rice is great. You just throw it in your microwave for three minutes and you have perfect brown rice. And then we are gonna have the leftovers of our green beans from the other night of dinners. And these are the Trader Joe organic whole green beans. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So to get started, I went ahead and pulled out a microwave safe bowl. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add our chicken. And we are just gonna throw this in the microwave for four to five minutes. And then once the chicken is warmed, we're gonna go ahead and put the little teriyaki sauce packets into a separate microwavable bowl, warm them. There are two of them for the bag. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. And in the meantime, we will go ahead and put our brown rice in the microwave. And then lastly, our green beans. So I just pulled our chicken out of the microwave. I put it in for about three minutes. I put the teriyaki packets into a smaller microwavable bowl. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our microwave for, let's do two minutes. And then we're gonna combine it here with our chicken, throw it back in the microwave for a couple more minutes, and then we'll move on to our rice. So here is our teriyaki chicken. It isn't quite done, but I'm going to let it sit for just a couple minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and toss our rice into the microwave. Let that go a couple of minutes. And then we will actually add our chicken back into the microwave just to cook it the rest of the way through, toss in our rice, and then we'll be ready for our green beans. So here is the rice. So it literally takes two minutes. Perfect brown rice. My completed chicken, nice and warmed through. So I'm gonna serve up the rice, top it with a little bit of our teriyaki chicken. Our green beans are in the microwave and as soon as they come out, I will plate up tonight's dinner and give you the smart points. But just a little pro tip here, this entire dinner, you guys, takes less than 15 minutes. Amazing. So here's my dinner for tonight. Now, yes, it is in a to-go meal prep container because I'm actually headed out to speak with a client about listing her home. So I'm gonna take my dinner with me. And this is one of those nights that I'm just going to stop at a gas station and warm up my food. So. I'm gonna be taking my dinner. So what I have is one half of a cup of the Trader Joe's brown rice, that is three smart points. And I have one serving of the teriyaki chicken. And you guys, that entire serving, and this is dark meat chicken, is only four smart points, sauce included. And then I have some Trader Joe's green beans with a little spray butter, salt, and pepper. So this entire dinner is only seven smart points. What a bargain. So for tonight's Trader Joe's meal, we are going to do a spaghetti dupe, and we're gonna have some cauliflower, cauliflower gnocchi. So for our spaghetti, we are gonna be doing this Harvest Spaghetti Squash Spirals. So this is actually squash spirals with chunks of squash in tomato sauce. So it sounds really good, I've actually never had this. And then we're gonna top it with the Trader Joe's turkey meatballs. These are fully cooked, so really easy just to nuke these and warm these up, and they are very low points. And then I'm gonna pan fry up some of the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi, which is really good as a side dish. So this entire dinner full of Trader Joe's items, again, from the freezer section. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we're gonna get started is our spaghetti squash spirals. So what I've done is heated a little bit of nonstick cooking spray in my pan, and we are just going to drop our spirals in there. I did go ahead and removed the little packet of cheese because that gets added a little bit later. So we're just gonna put these in there and we're gonna allow these to cook down. The directions recommend that you do put a lid on it as well just to help kind of steam them. So that is what we are going to do and then we will get started on our gnocchi. In another pan, I have added some additional nonstick cooking spray. And to this pan, we're actually going to be adding in our cauliflower gnocchi. So we're gonna put that into this pan. And we are actually gonna let this cook down until these are nice and crispy. So I will spray them a little bit more with some nonstick spray. And we'll just really get these nice and crispy while the rest of our dinner is cooking. Once your squash has started to cook down a little bit, we are going to be adding in our turkey meatballs. And we're just going to allow those to cook with our squash. They're already pre-cooked, so we just need to get them kind of warmed through. And then we'll be adding in our cheese packet. 
And our cauliflower gnocchi is looking really good. It's starting to get crispy. So everything is coming right along. So our meatballs and squash is looking so good. I turned the heat way down and I'm just making sure the meatballs are warmed through. And then over here we have our cauliflower gnocchi. It's also looking amazing. So I am just flipping it periodically to get it nice and crispy on all sides. And again, I do have the lid on that as well. So we are just about done. We'll add our cheese and we'll plate it up and give you the smart point. The last step is we're gonna go ahead and add our little packet of Parmesan over our spaghetti squash and our meatballs. Let that cook down and melt and I'll get this plated up. So here is my dinner. So I have one serving of the gnocchi. This is a total of four smart points. I have two of the turkey meatballs. That is three smart points for two meatballs. And then I have half of a serving of the spaghetti squash mix. An entire serving is three quarters of a cup and that is four points. So I decided to only have half of a serving for two. So I have three for the meatballs, two for the spaghetti squash, and four for the gnocchi. So this is my nine smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on my five nights of dinner from the freezer section at Trader Joe's. I hope you enjoyed seeing these five super easy, point friendly, delicious meals. I don't think, I think the longest meal took about 20 minutes from bag to table. So not bad at all. Easy weeknight, fast meal, weekend meal, and literally everything was delicious and extremely affordable. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite of the five dinners that I showed you and what are you having to race out to your local Trader Joe's and pick up. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.